Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Scythe here, or Chris, whatever you guys want to call me. And today I'm going to bring you some Oreo collection news and stuff that's coming to the game. Shout out to Scar, uh, you know, from OCHD. This is his website. This man, yo, shout out to him. He does all this stuff that... It's, it's amazing trust me it's amazing visit the website i'll leave it down in the link below if you guys want to check it out if you guys want to learn anything about the game it has everything about the game uh all right let's get down to it um i'm gonna be reading it out when you guys just listen and just uh just see what's happening so super assault quest mihawk a super assault is a quest even more difficult than a normal assault a true challenge of your skill and power dracul mihawk from one piece will appear in oreo collection the dates will be the 19th from 12 p.m. No, 12 a.m. from today. 12 a.m. from the uh, 7 18. I mean, not 12. I mean, I mean, basically, today when I post this, if, from the day I post this at midnight, that's when it's going to come out. So, until the 1st of August. So, that's that's my miles ahead. So, who is Mihawk? Who is Mihawk? Who, do you know who Mihawk is? Let me explain to you who Mihawk is. A legendary greatest swordsman in the entire world. Dracula Hawkeye's Mihawk. He is currently part of the fearsome government pirate group, the Shikubukai. Basically, in English, the seven warlords of the sea. Uh, working for the, the, the government. The man that stands at the summit of swordmanship has been challenged by a young pirate in the East Blue. Surely, this man has no hope. But, what is the significance of this fight in the eyes of, of the Hawk? Alright, so if you guys don't know who he's referencing, he's pretty much referencing, um, what's his name? Uh, Zoro from One Piece. Zoro challenged him in the, the episode of One Piece. I don't know if you guys saw that part, but he challenged him. He got he lost, but Zoro took it as a as a, I'm never gonna lose ever again type of deal. All right, event info. This event has two difficulties. The first will be slightly easier than the difficulty you have come to expect from a soul quest, but the second will be one of the hardest events this game has ever held. Coma will be the key to success. So for those new, uh, for the new players out there, it's gonna be a little bit difficult for you. I'm sorry, but uh, Coma really is some of the it's it's some of the it's it's top-notch stuff right now It's like you you drink that you'll turn into a Super Saiyan 5 and then you'll be like I'm ready for anything like type of deal uh, Clear stage 1 to unlock stage 2 stage 2 will drop a large number of tickets in stage 1 So if you can be beat, uh, beat it, then you it will be the best stage to farm now That sounds amazing like tell me now that sounds amazing like that. That sounds amazing one stamina two how many tickets more is it actually going to drop stage one costs 30 stamina just to do uh and in stage one you get barely 10 tickets sometimes you get three on average i'm going to say from personal experience i got three averages on tickets three average tickets uh five sometimes five most uh seven mm, barely and 10 is like that one percent chance that you might get out of nowhere weekday time so 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., 8 a.m., 12 a.m., uh, well, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., and 18 and 18:59. I'm not sure, military time, uh, 24 hour standard time. Um, it's not so certain on which one it is, but um, let's just keep you going. Weekend time, same amount of times, somewhat. I think it's an hour ahead. Yeah, it is. It's an hour ahead, except seven. Seven. Oh, this is two hours. Ooh, that's something to know. The need to know info. Let's talk about that. Uh, defeat Mihawk and earn Mihawk character vouchers. The vouchers themselves are basically uh, tickets. Tickets you used in the shop. Um, purchase three-star copies of Mihawk from the point exchanges in these vouchers. Exactly. Uh, after a certain turn, Mihawk will enter his second phase. He will unleash a powerful ultimate attack in his second phase. Uh, the second stage difficulty is higher because Mihawk will enter, uh, like, it will enter that set phase sooner, I'm assuming. Uh, Mihawk prevents status debuffs to himself if you guys don't know i'm reading it off right up from the pc and my phone so like it's like you know if i want to see a little bit closer more better my phone bring it up uh mihawk prevents status debuff to himself mihawk counter attacks normal attacks i've me myself i've never seen a, a character that basically counters attacks when they hit you like not in this game not in this game i hope this guy can do that as soon as you pull him and um when someone normal attacks and he oof that'd be amazing uh, Mihawk also has a chance to inflict bleed effect. 
He also has a, a skill that gives him additional damage for his normal attacks and counter attacks. Ooh, that's a, that's interesting, interesting. Bring high HP characters or ultimates that heal or you will struggle greatly. Mm, that sounds very, I mean, it sounds, yeah, it sounds, uh, it sounds unique itself. Mihawk is techniques type, so bring heart type allies. Ryoma Ixen is a highly recommended as a unit to aid your battle against Mihawk. Highly recommended. That is a free JA unit that you guys can basically farm, so I'd make sure that you basically farm him and do it. So make sure you do that, guys. So, um... Let me move on to stage one missions and let me explain to you what we're gonna get, I guess. Like, just, just let me say. Daily challenge Mihawk. Once you get 50 stamina bottles, that's great. I'm assuming it's gonna cost 50 stamina because they're giving you that much. Um, beat Mihawk once, you get 10 voucher tickets. You know, 10 times, you get 20, 30, 20 times, you get 30, you know, uh, etc. Beat Mihawk with a heart only team, you get a three star Mihawk. So. I'm assuming you get Mihawk the first time you do it. You get a second Mihawk if you beat him with the heart only team. It's great. Um, the stage two mission. Now, this is interesting. This is very unique to itself. This is, I like this. Watch. Daily challenge Mihawk once uh, from the 719 to the 25th. That's six times, that's six days. So you get 10 heart over boost sodas every single day. I'm a, I hope it's one every single day. If it's not, that's kind of. It's kind of eh, it's kind of iffy on a stiffy, you know what I mean? Uh, challenge him once, you get 10 or 10 jump orbs. Uh, you um, beat Mihawk one time, you get uh, 10 Mihawk character vouchers. That's great. You get more me. It's perfect if you want to OB6 him. You know, it, it'll it'll take um, less less time. Uh, beat Mihawk 30 times, 20 times, 10 times, uh, 40 times, 50 times. You get what? A one, two, three, three overboost. Am I three overboost? Okay, three um, 10 heart overboost sodas. I hope you get um, six from the first one, from the from the 19th to the 25th, because that'll help out so much. Help out so much. Um, yeah, that's about it for that. So, and then in-game recommended units. Uh, high damage, I'd, I'd say Alan Walker is great. Iori, Yukihira Soma, uh, Shinpachi is a free-to-play unit, great to have. Uh, these units are great. Honestly, the One Piece scene, gotcha. New scenes, yep. And this is the picture himself. That's the world's greatest swordsman, Dracul Mihawk. That's that. Um, also, I have one more thing to talk about. One more thing. I'm gonna shout out to the Discord that Scar. Uh, I think Scar is one of the admins, or he created. He made it. I'm not 100% certain. Boys. Um, honestly, this is the new JA unit, Ichigo Kurosaki. So he's in his Bankai state. And I thought Bankai, his Bankai was gonna be his JA awakening, but I was wrong. So a JA is gonna be the uh, this is gonna be the regular pullable unit, and then this this is gonna be this is the final Getsu Getsu uh, I think it's final Getsu uh, Getsu Getsha Getsu. It's the it's basically as soon as he uses this form, he's done. Like he's uh, it's it's like his 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 ultimate his second to ultimate form. Uh, it's his uh, second ultimate his second ultimate form uh, before he goes into a dual. Uh, the Quinks, Quinks mode and, and um, a, a Soul Reaper. I think he holds three. Soul Reaper, Quinks, and his uh, Hollow form. Something like that. Or his Hollow. It's not, you guys get the point. Honestly, this J8, and he's also going to, whoof, bro. When he comes out, when they give out his um, essay animation, I'm going to post that on the channel so you guys can see what how cool these essay animations are because they're, they're honestly one of the best. Like, versus Dokkan, um, versus, like, all these other gacha games, I just like this anime. I just like this game because, bro, you're not gonna see this character coming like any other mobile games. This this game has many many units. Um, honestly, um, I would say for the first year anniversary, just make sure you save up save up enough orbs to get him. Um, I'm hoping that the free to play unit that you get from Ichigo from the, the the fodder banner, you can feed them all into this one, and that's a free OB6 character just off the bat. Free OB6, free, no questions asked. Um, I think other than that, guys, I think that's it for today. Uh, you guys have a wonderful time. You guys take care. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and more information will come up on these characters when I do come out with them. I will try to max them out and showcase them for you guys, and. Obviously, I want to showcase Mihawk as well, so that is another unit I'm going to be trying to get to OB6. Other than that, guys, um, yeah, that's about it. You guys have a wonderful day. You guys take care, and peace.